whoever is watching this channel for the first time. I love Disney. I have always loved Disney. It is a company that I hold very dear and true in my heart. Now, unfortunately, there's been a lot of problems lately with Disney. They've been pushing identity politics, weird forced agendas on children, and they publicly announced it in their uh, meetings, I believe. I think it was something, but I'm not making this up. I'm not fabricating things. Like I said on this channel, please get the facts, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm not the one spouting nonsense. I'm not some conspiracy theorist. That's not who I am. I'm somebody that relays the information to you, the information that I've heard. And I apologize. Uh, my fan in the background is going. It's 95 degrees today in Florida, so it is extremely hot. But I deleted Disney Plus. Now, Disney Plus back in 2019 was a huge thing for me because I was a massive fan in 2019 of Disney. And one app that would bring everything together really intrigued me. It really got my attention. I was so excited because I could finally watch all the movies, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, everything, all the animated movies, because I love Mickey Mouse. I love the old Mickey Mouse animated cartoons, and I could finally watch it. Well, then we got to the problems where they were taking things off of Disney+, Plus or censoring things from Disney+. Plus. The Simpsons, they completely removed the Michael Jackson episode from The Simpsons, which I believe was not entirely Disney's fault, but I could be wrong about that. But nevertheless, they did remove the Michael Jackson episode from The Simpsons. They censored a lot of things. They completely uh, disregarded Son of the South. Son of the South doesn't exist on Disney+. Plus. Indiana Jones isn't there because they have this problem with Paramount. So, what do I have to say about Disney Plus? It was already off to a bad start. They were censoring things. They were, for a short time, I think they still do this, but they took classic animated movies off of the children's section, like Peter Pan, uh, which is completely ridiculous because these films should be enjoyed by kids and adults alike. Um, and sometimes adults don't really understand how these things work, you know? Adults think, oh, Peter Pan should be on the kids section. It's not our responsibility to open the adult section and show them Peter Pan. Some adults don't roll, uh, roll like that because, you know, they have jobs, they go out, they do things with themselves. They don't sometimes have that responsibility of taking a child and moving a child over to an adult section just to show them Peter Pan. So, already out the gate, we were having problems with Disney Plus. Disney Plus was never this app that was great in the first place. It had some great moments, but it had issues at the start. It had flaws at the start, which I think it never recovered from. Um, but now we're in 2022, after the whole Splash Mountain, Princess and the Frog thing, uh, all this SJW stuff going on in the parks, and now the leaked meetings of them basically coming out, telling the world that, yes, we want LGBTQ politics in these children's movies. We want forced politics in these movies just for kids. They don't care if it serves the plot. They don't care if it serves the storyline. Let's just have a 15-year-old lesbian in uh, the new... Oh, my God. The new Doctor Strange movie. 15 years old, lesbian character. Now, that's kind of pushing it, ladies and gentlemen. That is pushing it. You're bringing a child into it, but I will I won't get uh, I will not get into that because it, it that could be another video for another day. But why am I d deleting Disney Plus? Well, I'm making a stand. The more money you give Disney, the less they will bow down. By the way, their stock has plummeted forty percent. Why has it plummeted forty percent? Because all of the stuff I've just mentioned. It's not because, oh, Alex, you're a racist. Oh, Alex, you hate SJ, but no. no. There is something going on. And a business, you have to be a business. You have to be a theme park industry first, not a political hot zone first. Disney has become a political hot zone. It's no longer about the experience. It's no longer about the theme parks, going on your favorite rides, enjoying those movies. No, Disney is a far 
left political hot zone. Like I said, it's not a conspiracy. It's not false information. Please go look it up for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, because it is 100% true. The Disney parks are attacking Ron DeSantis when it should be none of their concern. Now, I understand opinion. I love people when they make opinions. But Disney, a company that should be dedicated to theme parks, is making statements about attacking Ron DeSantis, attacking his bill, which is targeted at children, protecting children. That's all Ron DeSantis wants to do. And Disney is attacking him. When Disney first should be a theme park. And after this, ladies and gentlemen, after this, I've decided that no longer should I have Disney Plus because I already don't visit the theme parks anymore. So why should I continue having Disney Plus? What's the logic? Let me be honest. The main reason why I had Disney Plus was because of the Star Wars movies. That was it, really. Because I go back and I watch Star Wars movies. That's really it. I don't get involved with other Disney media. The only thing is really Star Wars. I like watching them on 4K. So I don't have to buy the discs. Um, but I've decided that I probably will buy the discs. All six movies. Not seven, eight, and nine. Those movies don't exist. All six original movies. Uh, on 4K, and that's my plan, getting them on disc, because I'm a 4K collector, I love 4K. But after everything I just mentioned, to all you people that haven't watched my channel before, uh, I just can't support Disney Plus anymore, because it's giving them money, it's giving them support, it's letting them continue ruining our lives. By the way, Disney no longer greets people by gender. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Disney. That no longer exists, ladies and gentlemen. They've screwed up Jungle Cruise. They will screw up Splash Mountain. They've screwed up so much crap at the Disney parks. It's no longer Disney. It's no longer a theme park. When you go to the theme parks, you're getting into a political battle. That's what it is. It's no longer about riding Splash Mountain. It's no longer about riding Jungle Cruise or Thunder Mountain or the Haunted Mansion or having a magic experience with your kids or your family or your, your old wife. I mean, I, I saw so many old adults going, enjoying themselves. And it's so far left. It is so crooked. It is brainwashing the kids of this generation that I am no longer a supporter of Disney. So why should I continue owning Disney Plus? That is why I have canceled my Disney Plus subscription. Do I regret it? No. It's sad because this experiment started in 2019 and I was excited. I was so excited for this app, Disney Plus. An app that would bridge together nearly 100 years of Disney history and Disney content. But when you censor things, when you remove animated cartoons just because of their subject material, that's a problem. Put a warning on these things, but let people experience what Disney is. When you shamelessly hide things from your company, that shows that you are uncomfortable with your own company. Your company was different in the 30s. We get it, but don't hide that. Show how far you've grown. Show the world what the entertainment was like back then. And show what the entertainment is like today. I think it's worse hiding things. Because it shows that you're sorry. It shows that you're scared of your own company. But ladies and gentlemen, that is why I cancel Disney+. Plus. Do you guys have similar stories? Have you canceled Disney+, Plus? because I think you guys should. If you guys continue watching Disney Plus after all of this, I mean, it's not my business, but I think you guys are making a massive mistake. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and goodbye. Bye, everyone!